Hey guys, Chef Michelle Regustus here with ForkandPlate.com. Today I'm going to make a really simple salsa, but it's a little different. We're going to do a grilled fruit salsa, so it's good for any fish. So the fruits that I'm going to use today, I'm going to just use some pineapple, some mango, and red onion, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. You want to get a good, nice, nice hot grill. So starting at 350, uh, got to get a lot of smoke. And we're just going to throw all your fruit on. And again, you can use any kind of fruit. You can do nectarines, you can do peaches, whatever you want. But today we're doing some mahi for my friends here in South Florida. So we are going to do pineapple mango. I think that's appropriate. So after about four minutes, four to five, give or take, what we're looking for is a pretty good char. And that's pretty perfect if you can see what we're looking here. You really want a nice golden color. We're trying to bring out the sweetness and get a little bit of that grill flavor in there. And... Uh, so flip them, do the same. All in all, it should take about 15 minutes, and then we're going to make salsa. So now it's been about 10 minutes, give or take, and we've grilled all the fruit. And once it's cooled, you want to let it cool so you don't burn your hands, we're going to dice it. Now, your choice again. You can slice it, you can dice it. I prefer a small dice. And uh, we're going to make our salsa for our fish. So I like a small dice. So it'll kind of be about that and you can even go smaller if you want. So once all of your fruit is all diced, uh, we're gonna make the sauce and it's really simple. So I have a clove of garlic chopped in here and all the fruit is diced. And we're just gonna use citrus and olive oil, salt and pepper and whole leaves of cilantro. So really simple, we're just trying to like highlight the flavors of all the fruit. So we're gonna go about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, which will be about three and a half turns, and uh, the juice and the zest of one lemon and one lime. Make sure no seeds. And then it's your choice. If you like chopped, Herbs, you could put anything in it. It doesn't have to be cilantro. It could be parsley, basil, dill, whatever you like. I like to use whole herbs, so they just, you know, they stay together better. Uh, so we're just going to throw, like, I don't know, half a bunch of cilantro in there. Really brighten up this salsa. So you want to season it good. Salt and pepper, of course, always. So now we're going to zest. Make sure, just a little quick, one, two, don't get the white. The white turns bitter. And we're zesting both, again. And again, you can use orange juice, you can use any citrus, grapefruit, whatever you like. And then we're gonna give it a toss. And then, of course, we're gonna taste it. Just like that, fruit salsa. Thanks, guys. I don't know why I always say my last name. I feel so weird, it's so long. Jeff and shower glasses. I'm like this, motherfucker, this is how you fucking know. <laughs> so now, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, shut up, you fucking, hey. <laughs> shut the One second. I love swearing. <laughs> Can't get me down, All right, okay. <laughs> Let me make a salsa. Yeah. <laughs> 